Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Adam Draw Stuff. I'm Adam and I draw stuff, and today I'm back with another tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you how to draw five animals quickly and easily. I'll be showing you how to draw a monkey, an elephant, a panda, a fish, and a lion. So get your pencils ready and let's get going. Okay, so the first one that we're going to start with is the elephant. And to get the elephant started, what we're first going to do is draw a curved line, sort of like an S-shaped line. And this is going to be the forehead or the front of the elephant's head and one half of its trunk. So we'll draw a line like that. And then we'll continue this line back down and around to form the rest of the elephant's trunk. And bring that up to about there. Next. Right where we started this line here, we're going to draw the elephant's ear by doing a really big curved line that's wider up at the top and that gets a little bit narrow down below where the ear ends and we'll bring it up to about there, about the middle of the head where the ear can end. Inside the head, uh, we'll draw a little circle for the elephant's eye with another smaller circle inside for the pupil. And we can give him a little eyebrow like that. And then just to kind of put him in a good mood, we can give him a little smile right down there by his trunk. Next, behind the ear, sort of in parallel with the top of the head, we're going to draw a curved line that goes back behind the elephant and down parallel with the bottom of the trunk. And this is gonna be obviously the elephant's back and the back part of its rear leg. So continuing on from that line, we'll draw sort of a W shape to form the back legs like that. And then a little upside down kind of curved uh, well, I guess like a, a big U shape, just a curve right there for his pot belly. And then we're gonna match the back two legs by doing the exact same thing with the front two, except these ones will look a little bit larger because they're not being hidden by the elephant's belly. And then we'll draw this front line to go reach up to the mouth. And then one little line, a little curve there for the elephant's other ear that's gonna be obscured by the rest of his body and his head. And then behind the elephant, we'll start kind of uh, about the same height as where the eye is. We'll draw a curved line going out like that. And another one, really small, right underneath of that. And then a little sort of teardrop shape for the tuft of fur at the end of the tail. I'll go ahead and ink him real quick and give him some color and our elephant will be all done. Okay, and he's a little bit patchy looking, but that is our elephant. Let's keep this ball rolling and we'll move on to our monkey. And to get the monkey started, what we're going to do is draw a sort of rounded, um, I guess it's kind of a rounded square shape for his body. that and then a large kind of an egg shape sitting above that for the monkey's head okay and then connect both of those shapes together with two little lines to give our monkey a neck. And next, starting at the edge here of this little box, we'll draw a line that goes down toward the bottom of it, and then another line that kind of runs parallel down as well for his left arm, or I guess that would be technically his right arm, our left. And then the same thing on this side, line that runs down, and another one right next to it. And a couple little jagged lines at the end there. 
And then at the bottom of each arm, we'll draw a little fist with three clenched in fingers and a thumb. And then since we're drawing over a part that we've already gone over, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we erase all of our overlapping lines so that we keep it pretty clean. And then we'll do the same thing again over here. Three rounded fingers clenched into a ball with a thumb that curves back around. And then erase our overlapping lines. And then we'll go ahead and draw his feet. We'll put them on each side of his body, kind of facing us. So starting right to the right of his body here, we'll draw a line that goes up and curves back around for one of his toes. And then we'll do the same thing again for the other toe. And again for the other one. And then we'll curve down in kind of a W shape. And then back up toward his arm for the last toe, and then connect it all together with the rest of the foot. And then of course, again, go ahead and erase our overlapping line. And then we'll do the same exact thing over here, starting right to the left of his body. We'll draw a curved line up and down, and do the same thing for each of the toes our W shape for the bottom of the foot, and then back up for the last toe and connect. And then we'll erase our overlapping lines. And then for that kind of uh, pattern that monkeys or chimps, I guess, rather the big apes have on their chest, we'll go ahead and draw an M shape between his arms and then another three lines right below that. Just like that. And now we can move up to his face. So to draw the outline of his face, the pattern that separates the bald part from the part that has hair, we'll start right in the center of his head and we'll draw a curved line that goes up and around down the side of his head and comes in just a little bit at a point and then curves out and down and touches the bottom of his head like that. And then we'll do the exact same thing over here on this side, up and around, down to a point, and back down and around to the bottom of the head. And then, Right in the middle of his head, we're going to draw two pretty good size ovals for his eyes. And we're going to kind of make it a little bit cartoony. So this isn't really what a chimp has uh, or a monkey has for eyes. But for this, I think it's going to make him look pretty cute. One oval and another oval of the same size. And then we'll draw a little highlight in each of the eyes by drawing a little circle as well, or an oval. Right under his eyes, we'll draw two little curved lines for his nostrils. And then under that, starting right over here where um, this part of his face, his cheek curves out a little bit, we're gonna start here and draw a long curved line down, following the bottom of his head and coming up to form, oops, to form his smile. All right, and then parallel with his eyes, we'll draw a half circle over here on the right-hand side, and then one on the left-hand side for his ears. And we'll just put like a little spiral shape in there. And then all that's left to do, since we're doing a monkey, uh, they typically have really long tails. So we'll go ahead and give him a long curved tail that goes up and then comes back down, kind of like a candy cane. 
and then we'll follow that line back up and down right back toward his body. All right, and there's our monkey. I'm gonna go ahead just like the elephant. I'm gonna ink this and give him some color and we'll be right back. Okay, and there is our monkey done. Next, we're going to move on to a lion. And we're going to start just the same way that we did the monkey. So we're going to draw a sort of uh, square shape for the body. with kind of rounded edges like that and then we'll go ahead and draw an oval for the face or for the head rather like that and again I'm kind of keeping my lines a little bit messy and that's just because I'm going to go back over this one with ink all right, and then at the bottom of our oval, we'll go ahead and draw a sort of like an upside down V shape or a little tiny W for the lips. And down below that, a jagged circle for the lion's mouth. And then again, let's go ahead and erase all of our overlapping lines. Like that. And right above this little point where the two lips meet, we're going to draw an upside down triangle for the lion's nose. Like that. And then a couple real big ovals for the eyes. All right, and then next we can draw the lion's mane. And what we're gonna do there is we're just gonna draw a bunch of jagged lines that go all around the outside of the lion's head. And you can kind of make them messy. There's really no rhyme or reason to how these have to look. You can just make it look as wild and organic and messy as you like. And we're just going to go all the way around the face. Like that. And then inside, between the, the face and the outside of the mane, we're going to draw a triangle shape that goes up and out like that for the ear. And we'll erase whatever mane lines we have in there. And then the same thing over here for the other ear. And erase the lines. And then we'll draw the inside of the ear too. Like that. All right, now we can go back and erase any more overlapping lines that we have so far. Then starting where the, the main and the body meet, We'll go ahead and draw a curved line that goes straight from that intersection all the way down toward the bottom of the body. And then another one to the right of that that goes straight down, and that's going to be the lion's arm. And we'll do the same thing over here where the mane meets the body, curved line running down toward the bottom of the body, and another straight line right down like that. And then at the end, we'll draw kind of an M shape for the paw and then go down and do the same thing again for the bottom of the paw and then connect it like that. And we'll do the exact same thing over here, kind of an M shape, like a three humped M. And then down, and do the same thing underneath just a flipped version of it for the other paw. And then of course, erase all of our lines. And then all that's left to do now 
is to give them one more paw or one more set of paws in the back just like we did before. The three little humps and then three more on the bottom. Three little humps. Three more on the bottom. And then we'll go ahead, last step, we'll give our lion a tail sticking out of the back right side of his body. So kind of right above his uh, leg right here, we'll go ahead and draw a curved line up and out. And you can kind of draw this line however you want. I'm just gonna have it going up for uh, this example. And then kind of like the elephant tail, we'll cap it with a little tuft of fur at the end. Like that. And as I'm sure you've guessed, I'm gonna go ahead and ink it again and I'll be right back. All right, and there is our lion all inked and colored. Okay, so next we're going to do the fish and this guy is gonna be one of the easier ones. So we're gonna start by drawing um, sort of a teardrop shape for the fish's body. So we'll start here and make this the front. This is gonna be the head of the fish. And we'll just draw a curved line that goes all the way back and gets more narrow. Uh, the shape is gonna get more narrow as it goes back. And we'll do the same thing up here. Go all the way back around and curve. like that. And we'll wind up at the smallest point there in the back. So we kind of wind up with sort of a teardrop shape. Now to close off this teardrop shape, we're going to draw the, the back fin by going out like that. And then out like that and down. And then we'll draw a little curved wavy line to connect the two and close it off. And then inside this tail fin, we can draw a few little lines for the ribs of the ribs of the fin. So now, starting at about the middle of this teardrop shape, we're going to go and draw a curved line like that for the gill, and then for the pectoral fin, we're going to start right at this gill, this curved line, and draw one line out, and then another line out and down, and then a curved line to connect the two, and then a few more spines in there, just like in the tail fin, and then another fin down below. Um, kind of in between, about the halfway point of the body. We'll start it and then go down just a little bit and then have a curved line. It goes right back up, right before it meets the tail fin. And this is just going to be another smaller fin that most fish have. And then finally, the last fin that we're going to draw anyway, uh, we'll start at the about the midway point between the front and the uh, the front of the head and the gill, we'll go up and draw a line that goes back just a little bit, and then backward like that, and we'll draw a few notches in it. And this is going to be the um, I guess do you call that the dorsal fin. And then we'll carry that all the way back along the entire fish's body, like that. Okay, and then starting at the center point of the what will be the face, we'll draw a curved line for the fish's mouth, and we'll kind of have it curving up and then down, and then back up again to form kind of a smile, and then we'll end it in a little square shape, like that. And then right above that, we'll draw an oval for the eye with another smaller, smaller oval inside. And just for fun, we'll give them 
a little eyebrow. And then if you want, you can go ahead and draw a few little scales in there to give him some texture to his skin. And just like all the rest, I'm gonna go ahead and ink it and color it and be right back. All right, and there's our fish all inked and colored. Now the last animal that I'll be showing you how to draw today is a panda. And to get this guy started, what we're first going to do is draw a circle that, uh, well, I guess it's more like an oval. Um, and it's gonna be a little bit wider at the bottom and more narrow at the top, almost like an egg shape. And then below that, so this is going to be the head, below that we're going to go ahead and draw a much larger oval shape for the panda's body. And again, this can be a little bit messy because we're gonna erase our overlapping lines anyway. On the head, um, on each side, we're gonna draw two half circle shapes for the panda's ears like that, and the same thing on the other side, like that. And then pretending that uh, we have kind of a line drawn here in the middle of the head, on the one side, we're going to draw a circle for the eye, and same thing on the other side. And they don't have to be perfect, and they don't have to be perfect sized. Um, I still, for the life of me, can't draw perfect circles. I don't think anybody can. I think that's a myth. And another circle inside for the pupil. And then around each eye, we're going to draw kind of a bean shape for the mask that pandas have around their eyes. Like that. And another one like that, just the same. Okay, and then right in the center of the face, we're gonna draw a little triangle shape, like an upside down triangle like that. And below that, we'll do sort of a W shape for the panda's mouth. And just another little curve under there for the chin. All right, and then right kind of uh, where the cheek of the panda would be. We'll draw a curved line that goes out and back around and kind of wraps underneath of the head. And turns back around like that for the arm, for one of the arms anyway. And then of course, as usual, erase your overlapping lines. And then same thing over here, except this one is going to be going up a little bit more than the other arm. And that's because we're going to be drawing this panda kind of gripping a twig of bamboo. So that's almost going to be sort of a, almost a circle. And we'll erase our overlapping lines again. And now we'll go ahead and starting between the hands, we'll draw two lines that connect them and then two lines going out this way for the rest of the bamboo and two lines going out that way. And then we'll draw a couple little twigs that are branching out from the main stem with a few leaves on them, like that. All right, so below each of the arms, we're going to draw the panda's legs. And we're going to start by drawing nearly uh, a circle, I guess, under each arm, like that. And then we'll do the same thing over here, another kind of a half circle for the other leg. And he's gonna be sitting, of course. And then, so to connect these open spaces here, we're gonna draw another 
circle starting down here that connects the two together with three toes to kind of make the panda's foot. And we'll carry that circle all the way back down and around to close it off. And inside that foot we'll draw a few little pads for the toes and for the bottom of the foot. Like that. And we'll do the same thing over here starting down here at this open line. We'll start our circle and go up to meet the other line. Adding three toes. Curving back down around to close it off again. Three little pads. And a big one for the bottom. All right, and again, a little bit messy, but I'm gonna go ahead and ink it all, give them some color, and you'll see the finished result here in just a second. All right, guys, well, there is our cute little panda in all his glory. What do you think? Okay guys, well there you go. That wraps up this tutorial on how to draw five animals quickly and easily. If you liked this and you wanna see more in the same vein, whether it's um, more animals or whether it's like cartoon characters or video game characters or comics or anything like that, and you wanna see more videos that are similar to this one um, in tutorial style, then leave me a comment and let me know. And then if you did like this video, of course, as always, be sure to hit the thumbs up and ring the bell for notifications if you haven't already and go ahead and subscribe so that you know every time I upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.